Hello. Hello. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Coming on a little early today. Hello, Matthew. Coming on a little early today. Margie is in the house. Papa Polly is in the house. Woohoo! Hello, guys. Hello. I am fabulous. I am fabulous. Just got done for the day with my readings. Oh my gosh, why is, whoops. Just wondering why I look so washed out. <laughs> I'm kind of looking to see, I don't know how I can change the color. Ah, it'll be fine. Whatever the background is, it is. I probably should have done that when I first came on. So I want to say welcome, welcome. If you guys are new, let me know. Okie Bear's in the house. All my mods are popping in. I got all the troops coming in. Um, if you guys are new, let me know how you found me. Was it on the FYP? Were you being referred by some friends? Tell me where everybody's from. I'm from Arizona, Northern Arizona, originally from Phoenix. FYP, awesome. FYP, perfect. Ah, so some new people. You're freezing. Okay, guys, if you start to freeze, go outside and come back in. It's a Tic Tac thing. Oh, Jamaica, hello, New Jersey. Yeah, guys, if I'm freezing, go out and come back in, please. Tic Tac has issues. I'm now on your FYP. Okay, South Africa, welcome. So guys, um, if there's a lot of heavy duty freezing from um, all of you, then I will start this again. But a lot of times some of you are good and some of you say I'm freezing. Step out, come back in. Welcome, welcome. I'm never here at 3.15 uh, in the afternoon, but... I was done early with my clients, personal clients, and I thought I'd hop on, say hello, see if we have any spirits popping in. Ah, lots of FYP people. Awesome, awesome. Welcome, welcome. Today is the 17th. Today is the full moon in Cancer. Lots of water in regards to cancer. Lots of emotions happening. So, uh, I want Ziggy. I know, yeah, Ziggy and I were both in Tyler Henry's live. I guess he's now on TikTok, Tyler Henry. So, I went in to go check on him before I came here, and Ziggy and I ran into each other in there. <laughs> Everybody's getting on the bandwagon for sure. So, anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, for those of you that are new, yes, I am an evidential psychic medium. Evidential psychic mediums do bring forth details, information from loved ones, of which you would know without a doubt that's who's talking to you. It could be a date. It could be uh, names. It could be their ages. It could be how they passed. It could be what's going on on earth right now. I get that a lot. Um, oh, they saw you buy a motorcycle, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, and if you want, um, hundred and, whoop, 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 what did I miss? 175,000. Thank you guys. I am going to clear the energy in a minute, but let me make a couple of announcements. Um, once I reach 175,000, someone's going to win a free mediumship reading. So if I don't remember what number video it is, if you scroll down and all caps, it'll say giveaway. You have to find that video, like, comment, and share. And when I reach 175,000, I am going to pick somebody from there, put all the names in a hat, pick somebody out, and you're going to be receiving a a free mediumship reading. So I just posted some new videos as well. We creators work really hard um, promoting our 
content. So that's an energy exchange that we love. I don't, guys, I don't charge at all for any of my lives on here, on Instagram, on YouTube, or on Facebook. That is a way that I give back uh, in service. Uh, one of the ways that you can exchange energy is go watch our videos, click like, maybe duet them, or whatever. That's kind of a cool energy exchange, but I don't ever charge any any um, uh, for any of my services in my lives, okay? Who's in the house? And bomber, boom, chicka, boom, in the house. So yeah, me and um, me, oh, Nessa's in the house. Everybody's, Jackie's in the house. Yeah, I, it was pretty cool going into Tyler Henry's. He was just answering questions and stuff. So anyway, guys, um, so... Everyone is welcome in my lives. Everyone is welcome. Unless you come in here with hate in your heart, rudeness, disrespect, um, this is not the place for you. You can come in with an open mind and be skeptical. I don't have a problem with that. Not at all. I've had lots of skeptical people come into my lives. Everyone is welcome, but not those who are judgmental and full of hate. So welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. He is a kind soul. Yeah, Tyler Henry is a kind soul. A young, kind soul, actually. So anyway, guys, I don't answer personal questions in here. Is Windwalker in the house? I might have seen Windwalker popping in. Um, mods, please give a wave. All of my moderators also go live, okay? And I go and help them uh, on their readings as well. So let me see. Everyone, I said everyone is welcome. Mm. I am going to pull, I'm going to clear the energy because I always like to clear the energy. And then I am going to pull a couple of collective cards for everyone. Then I'm going to see if we have some loved ones popping in. Okay, so let's clear the energy. Welcome, welcome. Just so you guys know, I do not answer personal questions. All of my lives are spirit guided. Okay, if a loved one comes through, I will give all the details of who that loved one is or the information they want me to pass along. All right, welcome, welcome everyone. Here we go, let's clear the energy. for the lovely gifts not necessary thank you though hello wind walker still going wind walker you also give a wave you're still one of my mods Guys, make sure in, in my bio is my link tree. Whoop, it's still reverberating. Whoa, wonka, wonka. Um, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook business page. I'm going to be going live on the Facebook business page when I'm done here. So all of my social media links are in the link tree. 500 peeps. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of people. Um, so guys, let me make a couple more announcements and then we'll do the collective cards. Now this is my very own Heart Rock Oracle cards, okay? I find Heart Rocks in nature and I took pictures of them and I get messages with them. So what I did was I took some of my favorite ones and turned them into a Heart Rock Oracle card deck. We're going to be pulling one of those. And really quick, because my mods make me do it. Thank you for the lovely heart. Thank you, guys. So here is my two books. Let's do this quickly so I can get going here and pull some cards. Uh, this is my Whispers of the White Dove, my inspirational poetry. The White Dove is my totem animal. So that's on Amazon. Heart of the White Dove. I'm pretty proud of this one. It won five stars award 
this has a mixed match of I had a temporary journey with cancer. Temporary. You see, I'm not claiming that. Okay. I had a temporary journey with cancer. Um, so I have that story in there. I was a hospice worker for nine years. That story is in there. Uh, some short fictional stories and a, some more, a um, little bit of poetry. So guys, one of the things about my books that I want to talk about, and they're both on Amazon. Yeah, if it's freezing, go out and come back in. There are some people where it's Tic Tac. I'm sorry, guys. So I put it off and put it off publishing because I thought nobody wanted to watch or read any of my inspirational words. Okay. I thought before I die, I'll publish just to leave to, for my kids and grandkids. Guess what? The breast cancer hit. The breast cancer hit. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. If you want to publish a book, go freaking publish a book. Don't wait. You want to move to another country? Move to another country. You want to start a new business? Start a new business. Tomorrow is not promised. I'm still hanging out, guys. I'm still hanging out. Okay, so what I am going to do, I'm going to pull two collective cards, and I'm going to see if we have spirit popping in, okay? So, guys, for those of you that are new, I have number three pinned video is my etiquette video. Go watch that if you do not know um, pack, pop back in when you get home, Ziggy. Okay. Well, you better get back in time for me to do the age groups. You know you never miss that. Um so, I don't. For those of you who are new, go watch the live etiquette video. Okay. There's also a video that I duetted with another medium that talks about people who, when we ask you to stop commenting, you don't stop commenting. Thank you, Wind Walker. So, guys, it could be really crazy what we're trying to relay message, messages in here. So, I have the duet that I did with another medium. My number three pinned video. Um. And I've got some new videos I just posted yesterday from the Moonology Oracle Cards deck that was gifted to me. I'm going to pull a card. So we're going to have two collected cards. Then we're going to see. And thank you guys for following me. Thank you so much. And thank you guys for liking. Okay. Let's see what our second. I don't shuffle like most people because my Hands are like hobbit hands. So I shuffle, I put the card down, and then I pick. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, I love that song. Nature. I knew this one was going to pop up because I felt like being out in nature today. We've got a full moon. You got the new manifestation moonology? Oh, I would love to get that one. This one's the regular moonology, I believe. Nature. Go outside and let nature recharge you. Even if it's cold, you know how to bundle up, put layers. Nature, go outside and let nature recharge you. Okay. Now, yeah, you guys, go watch my, my live etiquette video. You'll understand, okay? Ah, hearing heaven is in the house, guys. I'm, he's a new connection, and I freaking love his energy. So hearing heaven, make sure you're also following him. Give a wave. Give a wave, hearing heaven, okay? All right, so here is the moonology card, which it's a full moon tonight. This one says balsamic moon. It's a time for healing. During full moons, I do release a lot of what no longer serves me. So here you are, this beautiful full moon. It's a time for healing. What do you want to heal? What do you want to let go of? This is something else that I do. Thank you, Nessa. I got the best mods on TikTok. Um, also, this is what I do. Also, I go outside at night and I put, um, I fill, fill up a jar with water. Okay. Spring water, whatever filtered water. Um, I write on the outside of this jar what I want to manifest, okay, or let go of. 
I put that out in the moonlight and it's called moon water. The next morning you get it out, make sure you don't leave it in the sun. This is moon water that gets charged, okay? Then I just sip on it for a week or so. I usually put three different jars outside, guys. You know what? I left, hang on a minute, I'll be right back. I left my water. I can't go without my water. Hang on just a minute. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. Um, <clears throat> guys, pretty soon I'm also going to be pulling by age groups so that everyone in here will get a card, okay? It's always uh, 18 to 30 gets a card, 31 to 50 gets a card, 51 to 70, and 71. Um, okay, mm, I got to share this really quick because it's so awesome. Um, many, many times when I'm doing personal readings for clients, their loved one will come through and give them something that will be like phenomenal that only the two of them know. And I had a beautiful reading with the lady. And I said, he's showing me the most brilliant, like yellow flower. And she goes, oh my God, my dad was in a coma. And the day he passed, um, that a yellow flower on his nightstand bloomed. That's how you know that is your loved one coming through. I think that's incredible. I was like, wow. Thank you for the lovely gifts. Thank you, thank you. All my mods are in the house. All right, yeah, guys, if it's freezing, step out, come back in. Tic Tac has got all kinds of issues going on. Okay, now this is what's going to happen. I feel a spirit that's coming through. Okay, hello, Karen. Guys, also follow KCR0000. I love her lives as well. We've given each other readings. Oh, thank you for the hat, Jackie. Give a wave. Karen, give a wave, give a wave. Um, all of my mods, give a wave, give a wave. Okay. Um, so, guys, for those of you that just popped in, my lives are always free. I do not charge for my lives, but you have to understand it's all spirit guided. Okay, I don't pick and choose. You want me to put my crown on? Okay, I'll put my crown on. <laughs> Woohoo! There we go. I'll have to make sure I wear it on my birthday, which is next Monday, the 24th. Okay, so I don't just look at you and answer a question. Oh, thank you for that. It's lovely. It's always spirit guided. I Before I on okay i know that those who need to receive a message uh they will be receiving the message happy birthday happy birthday thank you for the butterflies so guys this is how this works i do have a spirit popping in okay i'm going to take a moment i'm going to write down all the details of who this person is okay when i come back i'm going to give all of those details you must Take everything. There you go, everybody. All my mods are waving. Um, if heaven is still in and K, you know KCR, make sure you're following them. Both of you guys give a wave, please. Um, and so you have to take every detail because we have 569 in the house right now. Surely some of you can take one or two things. That's just given okay that's why it's important that you have to take all the details that i'm giving you so while you're waiting you know click like um tap the screen share it out follow me thank you thank you there's hearing heaven right there and there's kcr all my moderators are also yeah uh hearing heaven and kcr 0000 as well omg you guys got to follow them. I freaking love them. All right, give me a minute, okay? I'm going to write down. Okay. 
<laughs> we got a wild one. We got a wild one. Sorry, guys. If it's freezing, go out. Come back in. Oh, we got up to 600 people in the room. Okay. For those of you that have just come in and are new, just sit tight. I have a loved one coming through. I want to give all the details and see who this loved one belongs to. Okay. Once we figure out who this belongs to, and that might be more than one, that is, I do a lot of piggybacks, meaning more than one person can connect with all the details. Then I'm going to ask you to give me consent. I'm going to ask you to, okay, she's still yakking. <laughs> Woo, she's a tough cookie. It's a she. Yes, it is a she. Um, I'm going to ask everyone else to hold their comments, and I'm going to give the information from this loved one. So guys, just sit tight. Let me get all the information first. If you feel that this is your loved one because you can take everything, put it all in a comment how you can take everything. Okay, here we go. This is a female. She is showing me her lungs. She gave me the name Grace. May not be her name. Could be somebody on earth named Grace. She also gave me the name Bobby. She showed me a bowling alley. Um, she's showing me a target and a bullseye, the bullseye on the target. <laughs> I think she liked to smoke and drink. She was raised, um, yeah, she was raised to be, um, a hunter. Um, I believe she could even shoot bows and arrows. I mean, she was just... Not your typical female. Woo, she was a handful too. She's talking about um, two boys. She's talking about three kids, two boys, the month of December, and then the 11. It could be December 11th or it could be 11. My mods will help me out writing everything down. She's talking about being a farm girl, growing up a farm girl. So she knew how to shoot, hunt. Um, the month of March is significant. <laughs> She used to rub people the wrong way. Very outspoken. Very outspoken. So guys, this I'm going to say it one more time. Yeah, don't come in here with silly questions. Uh, all right, I'm going to give it one more time. Now we have over 600. You got to take everything. You got to take everything. Okay. Yeah, she smoked. She drank. Uh, she could shoot. She could hunt. Told me the showed me the bullseye target. She rubbed people the wrong way, but that's how her dad raised her. Her dad raised her to be one of the boys, if that makes sense. I don't know if she had two boys, if she was one of three kids. I hit see the three kids. March is significant. December, the number 11. Female with lungs. Uh, the name Grace was given to me. The name Bobby. And I'm seeing a bowling alley. Okay, so guys, this is the hard part, is just trying to figure out, you got to take it all, guys. You got to take everything. Oh, gosh, there goes my voice. So guys, if this is not your loved one, I'm going to be respectfully asking that you hold your comments, please. Eliza is possible, okay? Eliza, for the moment, since we had my mods, feel that this might be for her. Um, guys, hold your comments. I have a loved one that's already here that I want to give a message to. Eliza, would you please give me consent and let me know that you are 18 or over? Yeah, everybody, step out. Come back in if it's freezing. Eliza, please give me consent. Let me know that you are 18 or over. I give, I'm in the big 40. All right, talk to me in all caps. Okay, so. All right, so Eliza, what is the bowling alley? Definitely the bowling alley was a big deal. The bowling alley. This woman is... Guys, don't, the only person that I'm asking to give consent right now is Eliza, okay? Now, some of you may be getting postcards from this.
Postcards are you can take one or two things. That means your loved one's popping into the energy, giving a quick message, and popping out, okay? Um, man, she did rub some people the wrong way. Um, now, I don't know that there's anyone else in here. Mods, it looks like it might just be Eliza. And if it's just for Eliza, sometimes... I, if it's just one person, I might ask you to go be my guest on here and we'll go from there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my my peeps called me the queen. I'm as old as dirt. And I, <laughs> I got this crown in the mail as a, as, as a gift from Lindsay. Okay. Uh, well, adorable, this could be postcards for you. Okay, so this is definitely Eliza. I don't know that there's anyone else. Let me see. Eliza, she hung out at the small town bowling alley sometimes. Eliza, would you be, I, I don't do this very often. Eliza, would you be willing to come on? If you would be willing to come on, send a guest request. Let me see. If you're willing, if you're willing, if not, that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and give the message. Sometimes I'm in Arizona. Okay. Uh, hold your comments. Eliza, if you are not wanting to come on with me, that's fine. Um, it's usually, uh, if it's just one person, I try. So she hung out at the bowling alley. Thank you very much. Who is the Grace? Grace. This woman has no regrets in how she rubbed people the wrong way. This is how she was raised. She was raised like one of the boys. And she could give it right back to the rest of them. Okay, Liza. Let's see what else. She's all... N Grace, I'm not 100% sure. That's okay. Liza, if you want to come on with me, just click the guest request. Okay? Just guest request to come in. Now, Grace could be someone else in the family. Write the name down because it usually will be... She does not have enough... All oh, followers to guess. Never mind. Never mind. That's right. You have to have enough followers to guess. Okay. So, guys, yeah, I'm just in the process. Okay, Liza. Now, Grace may not be somebody's name. It could be. No, she's like, no, I. <laughs> she was not graceful. So, she's like, it's not that. It's somebody else's name that's Grace. Okay. Uh, no, she was not graceful. Um, she was a tough cookie. Um, not one who really liked to get dolled up either. She was a, the absolute tomboy. The absolute tomboy. So the only one that's to give me all caps is Eliza, okay? Um, so just type in mods for them to go out and come back in. But she did like digging in the dirt. She liked digging in the the dirt. Thank you, guys. I decided everybody said for me to wear it, so I'm wearing it. Digging in the dirt, Eliza. Okay. Um, she's showing me. No, this is not Elizabeth. This is for Eliza. She loved to plant flowers and veggies. Thank you, Eliza. That's a, that's a good validation. She's also got in the sky a big rainbow. Okay. There are three reasons when somebody would give me a rainbow. The first one is if you saw a rainbow in the sky, it makes you think of her. She passed when it was raining. Or when you had her celebration of life, it was raining. Thank you guys for following me. Thank you guys for being respectful and holding your comments so I can get this message. As soon as I'm done here, everyone's going to get a card by age groups. So how do you connect to that rainbow? Because 
she's, I don't know that she was the rainbow person, but anyway, that's what she's giving me. That's the three reasons. She's also talking, and Lindsay's in the house, the one that sent me my beautiful crown. She's talking about the, I saw a rainbow not too long ago and thought of her instantly. Okay, Eliza, thank you for that validation. She's talking about the old book, the old book. Now, what's interesting is I'm not getting from her that she was a religious person either. So the old book could be an old, old family book, okay? I do see some names written inside in the when you first open it. Um, I suppose it could be an old family Bible, but she's not, I'm not getting that she was. Hello, Lindsay, look what I'm wearing. Um what it yeah she's talking about the old book thank you guys <laughs> making me wear my crown a lot lately okay so it's been around i have some of her books i'll have to actually look at them okay she's talking about the old book the old book hello ali welcome to all my mods um, there's like, if you open it up, there's some names written on the inside of the cover, okay? Don't know what that is. Write it down. Um, it does look like it's a big book. It doesn't look like it's a small book, okay? Like it would be held in both hands, okay? Uh, somebody was a junior. She's talking about junior. Junior. Somebody could have been named after somebody. Junior, Junior. Ooh. She's also showing me, she's talking very fast. Besides somebody who is the junior, she's also talking about uh, trophies. That's my grandpa's name. Okay, Junior. Okay. Awesome, Eliza. Thank you for that validation. Uh, is that her dad? Trophies. Somebody got a lot of trophies and awards. Lots of trophies and awards. No, no relation. That's fine. She's just coming through with information anyway. They don't have to be connected to be able to come through. Well, they're connected on the other side. Let's put it that way. <laughs> there. When we cross over, we're connected to everybody on the other side. So the trophy, she's showing me a bunch of trophies. Uh I don't know. I don't think it's from bowling. It's almost, she was my best friend and my grandpa passed as well, but they knew each other. Okay. Perfect, Eliza. The trophies. I almost think the trophies might have been from shooting because she's showing me a gun, but that might just be that she was a damn good shooter. She learned it all. You, if, you, if you were to say, what does she look like? I could have said she was like an Annie Oakley. You know, she didn't take any crap from nobody because she was raised like the boys were raised. Um, her dad wanted to make sure. I have a bowling trophy from when I was a kid. She was a gun enthusiast. Okay. Well, the trophy could very well be from, because she said the bowling earlier. So we'll take that as a validation. Yeah, she's showing me a gun like she knew how. Um, she... She wasn't everyone's cup of tea, Eliza. And she didn't really give a crap. She just said that. I didn't give a crap. I wasn't everyone's cup of tea. I wasn't put on this earth to be everyone's cup of tea. Um, but, yeah, she was a rowdy one. Smoker, drinker. Um, she lived her life to the fullest. She's sitting here saying... I have no regrets whatsoever. No regrets. Okay, let's see what else she has. Um, She's showing me a wee one. And some of you guys are getting postcards. So just say thank you to your loved ones popping in. She's showing me a wee one. She definitely did. I'm glad. No regrets. You loved her. She's showing me a wee one. Did somebody have a miscarriage? Did somebody lose a baby? Or is there somebody currently pregnant? She has a little wee one with her. A wee one. So that means somebody might have lost a baby. She's got the baby. Um, 
or somebody's currently pregnant. This is for Eliza. Her daughter lost one. Okay, she has the wee one with her, okay? Eliza, can you let her know that? She's also showing me the cat. The cat. So she has the wee one, and then there's a little cat with her. Okay? Whoever lost the cat, she's got it. I feel like the cat died of old age is what I'm picking up. Okay? She's got the cat. Her daughter had a cat that passed. Okay? She's got the wee one and the cat. Okay. I got to do this once during a live. You can't make this shit up. Okay. Okay, she's also talking about you could have gone a different direction. She's like, you had a decision to make. You could have gone a different direction, but you changed course, she said. You changed course. And she's thankful for that. She's saying, you did the right thing. Do you understand that message? You could have gone a different way. You changed course. Ah, so true. New job that I love. Yeah, you, the decision you made was the right one. Okay, just in case you were wondering. All right, let me see. This is funny. I don't hold back, guys. I never hold back no matter what. Um, so she's showing me a little kid's face with the... Uh, you know, like when you have, when you do a little skit at school and like some, some kids might be playing flowers, it's their face and flowers around with the face showing. Is there someone who just did a little skit at school, played a flower, had flowers around, you know, paper flowers and their face is showing? That's what she's showing me. I don't know if that's you. I don't know if that's somebody else that's on earth right now that might have had a little skit. Um, Eliza, but that's, it's so cute. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, so yeah, could have been one of her grandkids. Write it down. So it's, it's like, and it would have been like a little skit at school. You know, their face and the little round flower. Do some checking with, with, with the rest of the family on that, okay? Okay, she's with a gentleman who had something to do with the railroad. She's with a gentleman who had something to do with the railroad because she's showing me railroad tracks. He either worked, um, he, he either worked on the railroad, lived by the railroad tracks. This is an older gentleman connected to her. I suppose he could have collected trains, but this older gentleman, my grandpa junior, he used to hop the train to work. Thank you, Eliza. I'll take that validation. Okay. Now, with her talking about being a farm girl, she's showing me like, um, I, I don't know exactly. Let me see. What she. It looks like a horse and buggy. Illegally, of course. Of course, Eliza, illegally. I'm seeing it, what looks like a horse and buggy or something that you would possibly use on a farm. It might not be a buggy, could be a wagon, but it looks like a horse and a buggy or a horse and a wagon. That's what she's showing me. Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome. When I'm done with this, I will be pulling cards by age groups. So 
horse and buggy, horse and wagon. I don't know what that is, Eliza. Um, write it down if you are not sure, but that's what she's showing me, okay? She lived on a farm when she was a kid. I'm pretty sure they had a horse, not sure. Okay, that's fine. Um, there might even be an old picture. Look for an old, if you have old, old pictures, I think there is a picture with the horse and the buggy or the horse and the wagon. It's a black and white picture. All right, write that down. There was a lot of card playing as well. Lots of card playing. Oh, thank you for the spider web. That's new. Lots of card playing going on. Either somebody played poker or you guys played a lot of cards with the family. Lots and lots of cards she's showing me. Possibly a casino, but I think it's more card playing at home. That's what it looks like to me. My grandpa, he loved playing cards. There you go. Perfect, perfect. Thank you for that validation. Um, okay, she's showing me he was a huge gambler. That Okay, thank you for that validation, Eliza. Um, she's saying the... <laughs> Somebody was called the old coot, C-O-O-T, coot, the old coot, <laughs> the old coot is what she's saying. Yeah, guys, if you aren't sure how my room is, you can step out and go watch my live etiquette video, which is number three pin, the old coot. I don't think I've heard that in years. <laughs> So when somebody says the old coot, it's usually like somebody who's grumpy. Um, I don't know who that resonates with you. Just write it down if you are not sure, okay? Getting a grumpy energy for sure. She was an old coot. All of us were younger, and we would make fun of her for being older. Ah, she was the old coot. Okay. I didn't think of her. I knew that she was a rough and tough chickadee. My kind of lady, I love her energy. I love her energy. Okay, let me see if she has anything else. Okay, here's something that was a big deal. Beds had to be made every day. Beds had to be made every day. Nothing was left unmade. You didn't walk out of, you didn't leave the house. You didn't walk out of there without, she always made her bed every day. Okay. She's talking about that was every day. Okay. Perfect. Her main thing popping in was to let you know, because you were uncertain of whether this journey was the right one for you. And she's here saying, give her the thumbs up that she's done the right thing. Okay. She's pretty happy about that. So some of you guys were getting postcards from this, okay? You needed it. You know, Eliza, thank you. Uh, I will upload this to my YouTube when I get an opportunity. I will download it to my phone, upload it to my YouTube. Um, I do my prayers to God. Uh, she was your number one supporter. She still is. Um, so... Um, you know, they come through and they want you to know that they watch what we do on earth and that, you know, they're very, very supportive of what's going on in our life. Okay. So thank you, Eliza. Normally I do a bunch of piggybacks. That was just for you. That's perfect. I always forget that you have to have enough followers to do a live request. Um, anyway, let me get a swig of my water. What I'm going to do next, um, everyone that's in here. We still have 322. I don't remember how many were in the beginning. I think you might have had, I don't know, was it 500 people? I think we had five or 600. So anyway, I'm going to give um, cards by age groups. Everyone in here is going to get a card 
by your age group. Thank you, guys. Over 600. Woo! Okay. All right, guys. Please make sure that you are following me on my Instagram, on my YouTube, my Facebook business page. I'm going live on my Facebook business page uh, shortly after I'm done here. In my bio is my link tree, all my social media. I usually try to go live on YouTube on Wednesday evenings, 5, 6-ish Arizona time. Instagram is usually Sunday afternoons. Um, okay, let me see what deck I want to use. Let me see. Okay, so I feel like this deck that I'm going to use right now, everyone is going to get a card that is in the room. Soul Trees Ascension Deck. This is by Allison Williams Yee. I freaking love all her cards because they are made from trees. I mean, she draws trees and that's how she does her oracle cards. So I am going to pull... For right now, if you are 18 to 30, this is for you. For those that have popped in that are new, number three pinned video is my live etiquette video. Yeah, aren't they? they these are beautiful, beautiful cards. For those of you that are new, I don't remember what the video is. You scroll down. It has an all caps giveaway. When I reach 175,000 followers... Those who go went to that video, liked, commented, and shared, everyone's name is going into a hat. And when I reach 175, somebody's going to win a free mediumship reading, okay? Now, if you still want a one-on-one, -on -one, you can certainly send me a message. Uh, all of my information is in my link tree. All right, 18 to 30, this is for you. Now, guys, also, I want you to know... If this is not your age group, but you feel a strong connection to the card, take it. Video 37. Thank you, Jackie. Video number 37. Okay. All right. 18 to 30. I have Hobbit hands. I can't really shuffle like most people. So I shuffle, I put them down, and then we pick. So, and you have to be 18 in here to even get a reading. Okay. All right. Let's see what this is. 18 to 30, judgment, judgment. Now, since there's so many in here between 18 and 30, you're going to need to understand, are you judging someone? Are you judging others? Are others judging you? We shouldn't really be placing judgment on anyone who lives this earth, okay? We all have our journeys to walk, okay? Now, if somebody's placing judgment on you, you know what? You need to, you know, push them back. Push them back and say, you, you need to get out of my space, okay? We all have, I love my journey. I respect my journey. I respect your journey. But if somebody comes along and says, well, you can't live like that because that's judgment. Nope. Not even the God that I know judges us. I think when we get to the other side, we kind of judge ourselves by how we lived on earth. God doesn't judge us. The God I know and love, he only loves. He simply loves. Okay. Okay. 31 to 50. I wonder, hey, did Ziggy come back in? He always shows up when I do his age group. 31 to 50. Here we go. Guys, I have some videos that I just posted, so please go have a look. Okay. Woo, 73,000 likes. Thank you, guys. And when I was doing those readings, um, I want to say thank you for those that sent the gifts. I don't like to be interrupted in my train of thought. I didn't mean not to say thank you for those gifts, okay? I'm saying thank you. All right, here we go. 31 to 50. Confusion. 
confusion. Thank you, guys. That's lovely. Thank you. Um, confusion. Clarity is coming. Clarity is coming. You are in the midst of some confusion on your journey. Now, you know what? We got a full moon. We got a full moon tonight. A good way to get things figured out, okay? The confusion is temporary, okay? Just say, I'm confused right now, but this is why I want you to say to the universe, thank you for bringing me clarity. Thank you for bringing me clarity. Whatever it is that's going on in your life where you may have some confusion about, just say to the universe, Thank you for bringing me clarity because I know this is just a temporary situation. Okay? Ask and ye shall receive. All right. 51 to 70. Here we go. Thank you guys for following me. 51 to 70. And I may have another spirit. I, I never know until I'm done doing the group cards. I may have another one. Okay. That's right. It's in the confusions that we see clear. Correct. We can. Confusion is only a temporary thing. It is not permanent. Okay. 51 to 70. Ooh, at that, my age group becoming. Thank you. You guys are so sweet and kind. Becoming. I am becoming an even brighter light. I'm going to claim that. What are you becoming? Okay. There's plenty of us 51 to 70 year olds. I am becoming. Yep. Leveling up. Leveling up. I am becoming leveled up. I'm becoming brighter than I've ever been. It could be that you are becoming who you really, truly are. That maybe you came from a relationship where you were not able to be who you truly are. Okay. All right. 71. 71 on up. Here we go. Might have somebody else trying to pop in. Let me finish this card. 71 on up. This is for you. I love this card. Love you. Love you. Love yourself. Love you. Love yourself. You know what? We got to love us first. They want you to love you because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to love ourselves. Do you understand that? It may take a little while. Okay. Love you. Somebody just said something about judgment and I had already talked about the judgment card. So, you know, if somebody's judging you, you need to tell them to take a step back. Okay, we are to judgment. We should have our lives without judgment. Okay, I may not agree with how somebody lives, but I'm not going to judge them because that's their journey. Okay, either you're being judged or possibly you're placing judgment on something. Okay, now guys, for the moment, okay, I think I do have another spirit coming through, so give me a minute. Give me a thank you for the gifts.
there's less in here, so maybe it'll be easier to get this information through. I have an older male who is just chuckling and smiling and sparkly. He looks like he has a crew cut. Um, he played a lot of pranks, he said. He played a lot of pranks. He has given me the name Roger, and then he showed me Tombstone. Now, Tombstone... Um, I, I'm kind of seeing the movie Tombstone, okay? There's a movie called Tombstone, but it could be something about his tombstone, okay? Uh, he's also given me the name Charles. Six kids. He is just delightful, chuckling. Okay, September, and then the number nine could be September 9th. December and the number two could be December 2nd or two separate messages. And he's talking about Halloween being a big deal. Halloween. So guys, older male, um, he, he um, sorry, he went fast and furious, he said. Fast and furious. He's pointing to his heart. Um, so I believe he was older. Okay, I don't see him as being middle-aged. He's chuckling. He played a lot of pranks. He gave me the name Roger, the name Charles. I don't know who Charles is. Tombstone. Uh, Kayla. My great-grandfather passed September 9th. I put something special on his grave. He has six kids. Kayla, this could be you. Kayla, can you take anything else? Also, Kayla is possible. Let's see. His middle name is Charles. Okay. Kayla, for the moment, Kayla, please give me... Um, oh, wait, Kayla. Who is the Roger, the R-O name? Who is the R-O name, Kayla? So Mama, Mama T, okay. Kayla and Mama T, for the moment, please give me consent and the two of you can talk to me in all caps. Roger was his father. Okay, thank you, Kayla. So Kayla and Mama T, Grandpa Jean, son Charles, six kids, Halloween, we celebrate son passing. Okay, Mama T and Kayla, I want both of you to please give me consent. Okay, Mama T gave consent. Kayla, did you give consent? Consent. Okay, thank you. The two of you may talk to me in all caps. We have a piggyback situation. These peep, these two people are taking all the details, okay? <clears throat> that means each of their loved ones are coming through at the same time. The universe has been doing this to me for quite some time. Uh, that's way That way, more than one person can receive a message. Some of y'all may be getting postcards. Postcards are, I'm not directly connecting you with your loved one, but your loved one is trying to pop in to the energy, give a quick message. I call it a flyby, and that's a postcard. All right, so here we go. Yes, <clears throat> the pranks were a big deal to him, all right? Uh, so you said there was something special you put on his tombstone. That would validate what he was showing me with the tombstone. Okay. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Okay, I want to, he's telling me someone was shot. Mama T or Kayla, do you know anything about somebody being shot? Huge deal. Tombstone is a bench we visit all the time. Okay. All right, Mama T, thank you. <clears throat> Who might have been shot accidentally? So lots of you are getting postcards. Don't give me caps unless you're Mama T and Kayla. So Mama T, do you understand that? You said yes. His son. His son was shot. Okay, Mama T, thank you for that. Okay. Kayla, that's okay. Kayla, just talk to me in all caps, sweetie, okay? Because there's two of you, it doesn't mean that both of you have to take every single message, okay? 
could be one or the other. And she resonated. Son Charlie got shot. Okay. Thank you, Mama T. So don't worry about it, Kayla. It's been taken by Mama T. All right. Now, he's also showing me out in the fields. Out in the fields. I think either he or he was born or raised out by the fields. Either that or somebody right now lives outside the city in the fields. Yeah, guys, and if, if some of this resonates with you, just say thank you to your loved ones, okay? He was raised on a farm. Thank you, Kayla. Okay. Uh, his house was next to a huge one. We hiked through it every Sunday. Thank you both for validating that. Uh, he's showing me a dish. Uh, looks like biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. Yes, Mama T. Okay. Okay. That seems to be important. Okay. Uh, Kayla, he always made that for all of the grandchildren. Thank you, Kayla. Both of you have uh, validated that. Family dinner every Sunday. Thank you. Yeah, biscuits and gravy. I mean, I used to make a mean batch myself. Okay. Ah. Whoa, and the cornbread. Woo! Cornbread. Special cornbread. Special. Not just any old cornbread. The special cornbread. The special cornbread. I don't know what was put in it. His special recipe. Okay, thank you, Kayla. <laughs> uh, yes, Graham made it from down south. Okay, both of you validated, not just any cornbread, the special. Thank you guys for validating that. Okay, this guy used to drive everyone crazy with his pranks he's talking about again. His wife. Okay, thank you. <laughs> he used to drive people crazy with his pranks. You know, he just lights up. He lights up. He's his eyes sparkle, his cheeks when he's when he's laughing, his whole cheeks. Oh my god, I just I can't even. Um uh, okay, so let's see what else he has to say. <laughs> you never knew when it was coming. Oh yeah, he's pretty proud of himself for that. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Katie Bugs. Thank you, thank you. Let me see if he's got anything else to say. You know, he really, he said he just needed to come and say hello because somebody's been down. He says, I came to say hello because, I don't know, I think it's a female, was down. Now, if it's not one of you, it might be somebody in the family. Now, I'm going to do my very best to upload this to my YouTube, and it'll have today's date on it. So he came to visit because somebody was down. Yes. I have been. It's I have been. It's been a while. Okay. That was Mama T. Kayla, yes, I needed this. There you go. That was his reason for coming in to say hello. I always do my prayers, and I say to God, whoever needs to receive a message, I pray that it happened. So he is wanting you to perk yourself up. Okay. Perk yourself up. I don't know why he's showing me a bunch of um, spring flowers. I don't know if he brought spring flowers for, you know, for his wife. Uh, he's showing me the spring flowers because he wants you to get yourself some spring flowers. Okay. Go get yourself some flowers, he says. Your gram, okay. He wants you to go get those flowers. And he's just, okay, he's, we always used to plant flowers. Okay, perfect. You know how you skip a rock on the water? 
You know, he says, I'm just to skip away. Do you understand that? That's, I'm just to skip away. And he's, skip, he's showing me skipping stones on the water. I'm just a skip away. Don't you love it? You've got to do it again because you can't make this shit up. You understand that? Okay. All right. He is going to be watching for you to buy those flowers. I have a tattoo that says we only part to meet again for him. He wrote me a letter before he passed. Oh, you wrote it for, you had got a tattoo for him. It says we only part to meet again. Oh, well, I don't know why he's showing me the skipping on the water, the stones, but that's when he said, I'm only a skip away. Okay. He's watching. You're going to go get flowers. You understand? He's watching. Okay. All right. Now, thank you both for coming in. Thank you. I don't know if you were new here today. Sometimes people come in and go, oh my God, it was my first time. Um, I want to thank you two for coming in. I will do my best to upload this to my YouTube later. Um, I'm all caught up with uploading. Sometimes Tic Tac cooperate. You are so welcome. You are so very welcome. So let me get a drink. And I, if I don't have anyone popping in, what I'm going to do is pull a final collective. I've got to go live on my Facebook business page. It is Monday. Um, I normally go at 5, but because the full moon is rising at 5.30, I don't want to miss it. And so I am going to go live half hour early or so. So if you guys want... Uh, my Facebook business is in my link tree. My Instagram is in my link tree. My um, YouTube is in my link tree. So go follow me on all my social media. Um, let me see what I... Guys, actually, we I have been told to give two collective cards. So I bet you a lot of you got postcards. I know what, that's what I love about this is that more than one person can get messages. Thank you guys for the lovely gifts. Um, okay, so I am going to be pulling two collective cards is what I've been told. Soul Trees Oracle Cards, also by Allison Williams Yee. And I'm going to pull from my very own deck. If you guys are interested in ordering my deck, send me a message to my website or just directly to my email pam at pamsears.com saying you're interested in ordering my deck okay um so my first book is called for those that just asked whispers of the white dove is my first book heart of the white dove is my second book they are both on amazon okay here we go two final cards moderators will you please give a wave Please give a wave. And um, if heaven is still here, if Karen is still here, if, you know, all of you, please give a wave. I don't know. Give a wave, everybody. Give a wave. All right. Here's one. Here's the other. I love all my mods. I freaking love all of you. They all go live, okay? There we go. Those are my moderators. I want you, those that are giving a wave, well, guys, if you're not my moderator, don't give a wave. Um, I'm asking all of my moderators to give a wave, and I want you guys to follow them because they go live as well. Thank you for the lovely gifts. All right, here we go. Okay. I pulled this for myself today foundation here's the first card foundation you have 